Joseph Hastings from Buckeye Grove here with Rivals 100 wide receiver Jonte Cook. Jonte, you know, you don't have an offer from Ohio State right now, but let's just talk a little bit about your relationship with the staff. We know you've been talking with them. What has the staff from Ohio State been telling you? I mean, the staff from Ohio State, I've mainly been talking to the quarterback's coach, Corey, Coach Corey Dennis. And, you know, we just been staying in touch every week. I mean, we talk, we talk twice a week, so, I mean, no offer yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if I get it, you know, within, like, the next weeks or months or so. You know, it's just uh, we're just building a good relationship, you know, because, like, Dontre is from here, and they feel like they can get me just like they got Dontre. So, yeah, they've just been telling me, like, they like my game, how dynamic I am, and they can just use me in that offense. Absolutely, man. So you say you've been talking with Coach Dennis. You're supposed to set something up with Coach Day as well in the near future. Yeah. What are you hoping to hear from Coach Day during that conversation? Honestly, I'm just hoping to hear good things about me and just learn about the campus because I don't know that much about, like, outside of the football aspect. And, you know, if I'm going to go there, I want to know, like, actually what I'm going into, like the culture and what's around the campus and what can I do on the campus and, like, the education. So just, just about the campus, really. Absolutely. You said you wouldn't really be too shocked if an offer arrives in the coming weeks or months. Yeah. What would be your reaction if Ohio State decides to offer you? I mean, honestly, I would still be overjoyed. I'll be excited because Ohio State is like that's that's a powerhouse, and you know they made it to the top four last year, and they they're always good. But you know, just being me being a big recruit now and and talking actually like live talking to them, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna be like. It was coming, so. <laughs> no yeah. doubt about it, man. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about Ohio State's success on the football field. They, they are a program that has a ton of wide receivers. They have a stacked wide receiver room. How do you feel like your skill set would mesh with their offense and what they try to do? Oh, I mean, I would fit right in because, you know, they're like an area offense. They more of RPO. RPO, they take shots with the RPO. It's like. They pull the RPO and then they run like a backside post, and then this this the the Z is running like a comeback, and then they got the double mesh. So I mean that's similar to what we run here. So I mean it's it's gonna be more complex because it's a higher level. It's gonna have like more names and stuff, but I think I'll fit right in just fine. So for anyone who hasn't seen your game yet and seen you perform, you know what are some of your top attributes and what are you kind of hoping to work on over these next couple of years before you make it to college? So. If you seen if you haven't seen my game, I'm a very dynamic player, athletic, fast, I can jump, got great hands, and I'm just fun to watch. And so like you'll just see a whole bunch of explosive plays if you go watch my film right now as we speak. Something that I hope to work on, I hope to get a lot of more yak because that's something that I lacked. Like, because most of my plays are like just over the top big plays, like just bombed out, me just dunking on somebody, or me just running by catching and just running. I just want to, like, Nick, this upcoming season, I'm trying to get some players where I catch it and just take it like 80, a lot of those. For sure, for sure, man. And we were talking before this interview about, you know, the conversations that you had with Jackson Smith and Jigma, another Texas wide receiver who, who ended up going to Ohio State. Have you spoken with any current Buckeyes or even the commits in the 2022 class? And if so, what have they told you? I've talked to Quinn, like, once or twice. He just told me, like, he could use me up there and all of that. And, uh, you know, he's just a real laid back dude. He's really cool. You know, people that's like big time like him, you'll think they're like big head and all that. But, you know, he's <laughs> real down to earth dude. He's real cool. And he just, he just chill. He just tell me like he could, he a little throw to me at Ohio State, you know. Now, looking past Ohio State, now your recruitment in general, let's kind of talk about what you're trying to do next. You told me that you want to take a visit to LSU attend the camp there, check out the campus. Any other visits that you have in mind in the future? Okay, I'll definitely be going to Texas, Oklahoma, Baylor, maybe Georgia, maybe Florida, and possibly USC. And then, you know, if something comes up here and there, I'll, I'm going to go. But those are the schools that I know for sure that I'll most likely be going to. All right, so you said if something comes up here and there, but if Ohio State potentially offers, would you consider making oh, a yeah. trip up? Most definitely. Most definitely. And would yeah. you, what would you kind of want to see on that visit? That would be your first time going to Columbus, I assume. You yeah. know, what would you want to see during that trip? I mean, whatever it has. Like, I just want to see the real. Like, whatever it has for me. Whatever I'm going to be living around, that's what I want to see. Because, you know, if you go to school, you're going to be living there for about four years. So that's what I want to see. Absolutely, man. Now, with you being a 2023 prospect, you're still going to be reeling in some offers. You're, you know, you're going to be taking your visits here. But... 
when it is time for you to make that decision and to evaluate your options, what are going to be some of the more important factors for you in that decision? Relationship. Relationship with the coaches. Just like really knowing if they really connecting with me, if they really want me, like if I'm not just another number, you know. And essentially that's what I am because I'm going there to play football. But, you know, like a real relationship with the coach. So, like, all of this stuff that they're telling me, once I get there, I don't, I don't want it to go away. Because, you know, a lot of times that's what happens to a lot of kids. They say, like, in the recruiting process, the coaches are telling them all this good stuff. But the day that they got there, all that just went out the door. So I'm just going to go up to the campuses, get the real vibe from the coaches, and see if it's really real. You know, I don't know. Because, like, I feel like I'm good at that, like, feeling vibes off people. Like, I can feel your vibe. You're a good dude. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I appreciate that, man. And yeah. you know, one of the ways you can feel that vibe is by hanging out with the players too. You yeah. get an, you get another perspective, not just from the coaches. From, is that kind of what you're hoping to see during those yeah, trips too? Yeah, I'm just trying to see like how the players interact with each other, how they act at practice. You know, how they just, just how they move. You know, like to see what, what it's like. So, hey, Jonte, we really appreciate your time today. Thank you for speaking with us for Buckeye Grove. This is Joseph Hastings. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.